Hello people, and welcome back to I Like Stoats, the Mardek channel, at least for now. So, I've decided to continue our Mardek playthrough. I've done some done some optimizations over here, got the chests from, from the previous screens. So we should now be very ready to enter this, uh, well, not after this fight. After this fight, I assure you, we'll be, we'll be perfectly prepared to do whatever it is we might do in there. I should probably heal Donovan, though. That's a very precarious situation to... Indeed. Let's, let's get in there first, though. Ooh. What is this? Interesting music. Well, what place is this place? It seems to be some sort of odd steel castle or temple. We are unsure of its origins. It appeared in the sand flow caves but a few years ago, around the time of a bright sky light that came to meet the earth, causing an earthquake. Some humans were found near this place after the earth rumbled. Most are now in Santusia, but one of them, their chief, left a long time ago and have never returned. Interesting. I wonder what the purpose of this place is. Well, it's weird. It feels sort of familiar somehow. Oh, I must just be imagining things. Hmm. Seems like Ninevein technology. But what's it doing here? I imagine it's just one of many ships that got unfortunately dragged in by that peculiar gravitational current thing that made my ship crash here too. Uh, there's likely no significance to it. Hmm. Very dark, too. I can hardly see what's going on. Helps to have a map. Uh, is this where we have to go? Uh, is it, though? Uh, I don't think so. Can I interact with the... Uh, is this a bar? I don't know. Certainly very, very interesting. I think... The chances are fairly high that had there ever been a Mardek 4, or a, a continuation to the Mardek series in general, we would have ended up back here at some point. Oh, it's locked tight. Oh well. This way then, perhaps? Ah. The Dark Temple! This place was supposed to have been sealed long ago to keep the evil within. This would explain the presence of the monsters above. The absence of the warding stone must have allowed them to travel out of the temple. This stranger may be after the dark crystal, though I am afraid we must stop him at all costs. But we must be careful. This place is vile, full of eldritch magics. It is dangerous here. Well, yes, but the same can be said of any dungeon. Mardek's dealt with things far worse than this before, eh, Mardek? Well, I sure have. Like one time when I went into a cave that was all evil, and I didn't die, even though it was evil. I am not one to retreat or back down from a mission. But this place, uh, you may not truly understand exactly how evil it is. To say that I have a bad feeling about this would be an understatement. Still, if you are confident, then we will make an effort to track down this intruder and deal with him. I just make peace with your gods first. How I hope to your lord that he has not found it yet. Ah, let's go then, with great confidence. With great confidence indeed. So this is the Dark Temple. So, as our good... Well, as our... The guy we met, Clavis, right? The, the Keystones guy. As he explained, every every element, and there are quite a few elements in Mardek. Mardek is, uh, of course, light elemental. Donovan, fire. Sharla, air. Stanak is earth. And this temple is full of dark elemental creatures, like uh, these these guys. Let's see, let's see Donovan first. Uh, are these the guys with... Uh, ah, high defense, low magic defense. Very nice. So, right. Ah, no, we want to use the fire breath, of course. 
So as I was saying, every element has a temple, at least any of the basic elements. There's weird elements in this universe as well. There's like a fig element and the ether element and that sort of thing. But those aren't talked about very often. Yeah, why did I do that? Turn my brain off here. So each element has its own temple, and each temple then has its own crystal, and that crystal is the source of, of much magic. Much magic, much power, even. And also, I guess, the symbolization of that element's power. So, of course, if you're, say, Dark Elemental, or if you just want a lot of power, you, can, you could try to steal a Dark Elemental crystal, and that would make you very powerful indeed. So that's possibly what this intruder is trying to do. But we won't let him. We won't let him have all the power. That's our power. Well, no. The power that belongs to all of us, really. So, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out here. Dragon tech. Yeah, Fire Breath actually does quite a bit of damage. I mean, Senok is a melee-oriented character, obviously, but uh, you'd be surprised how much magic damage he does with a, with a good Fire Breath. Can we... Can I? Ah, no, I can't. But we still have Dominant. Excellent. So, if you didn't know this, there's also a challenge here. A challenge where we have to defeat 100 Dark Elemental creatures in this temple. And in return, we receive the Dark Chalice, I believe. Yes, the Dark Chalice. Miasmo Chalice. And that chalice will be... Well, it's it's useful for, first of all, completing... Um, fully completing the game if you're going for a 100% run. Because you need to access a certain certain boss monster. Uh, if I remember correctly. But it always takes a while to, to get the 100, 100 monsters down. So that's, uh, that's part of what I'm doing now. And why I'm not going to skip any of these fights. Because they are uh, very important. So, so, so that's, for example, one of the reasons why I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to continue this series. So, I mean, up until now, I mean, I've mostly uploaded videos where I do just this basic Let's Play with the commentary, right? Uh, I'm wondering how interesting that in itself is to most people. Because, I mean, you know, I, I, I can look at my, my YouTube statistics, obviously, and what I see for, for the Let's Play is a lot of people start watching the first the, the first episode and then they, they quit very quickly. Most don't even finish the first episode and some, I mean, some will get through, through the second, third, and fourth, uh, but you, you lose a lot of people as you go on. Which I think is unfortunate because, I mean, I'd, I'd like to... I'd like to uh, keep people and make content that lots of people can enjoy. So, just some thoughts there. So what I've also started doing, and I mean, you've obviously noticed this, is these smaller, uh, well, like, like excerpts from, from these episodes, where I, I don't know, I, where, I, where I voice the characters and I just have that, just like this one interaction or this one boss fight, uh, which I think is, is interesting as well. And I mean, it allows people to get straight away to what they might want to see as opposed to having to watch me kill 100 dark elemental monsters like this which in itself you know uh, not the most interesting if you're curious what i did there if you don't know uh healing magic damages undead creatures which is who those were so charla can actually deal quite a quite a bit of damage as well with her healing Okay, so where are we now? Another chest. Ooh, dark robe. Okay. Now this has potential, I believe. So Ah, 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 three defense, six magic defense. This is this is very nice. Resist dark 50%. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoever gets this is going to have a, a major advantage if I do say so myself. Now, let's wait until one of them finishes that. And then, and then I tell you. Then won't that be nice? But for now, back to 
that direction. Where the chests are. Always a good, always a good idea to go where the chests are, because that's where the money is. And you want a lot of money in Mardek. You want to have your have your Mardek be very, uh, very rich. Helps, helps out, especially with the, with the items. Got to buy the items. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I keep skipping these fights. Force of habit, to be to be entirely honest. So I probably shouldn't do that. Just gonna take the fights. It's it's also uh, another advantage with. Uh, <laughs> give, give me a second here. Uh, with making the the, the small little. Um, oh, what did I call them? Mardek moments. I think I called them Mardek moments. I have a whole playlist full of full of Mardek moments, which is which is I find a very very cute little uh, description. Another advantage with those is I can I I can get really creative with the thumbnails. So I mean, uh, you you see these, and I have. Uh, I, I, I get to have some fun. I get to put the characters on the thumbnail. But also more interesting, I think, for, for people who are just uh, looking at the thumbnails. Seeing, you know, I don't know, Mardek. And then Ro no, exactly, Rohoff and Morik staring off at each other, that sort of thing. More Certainly more interesting than just, you know, Mardek Let's Play Episode 25, Killing Dark Temple Monsters. That sort of thing. So I'm, I'm I'm still thinking of ways to 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 improve this this series and obviously uh, the way this channel is going overall. I mean, I for a while, about a month ago, which is why I've not not uploaded in a in about a month, is I decided you know let's 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 stop this smartic thing for now and let's really think about where do I want this to go. Because I, I don't want to only make Mardek stuff. I might also consider doing some other stuff. I I mean, what, one thing that, that, that I think I'd, I'd be very well suited to, uh, because I've obviously spent spent a lot of time also with with the games of uh, Sewer Lone Wolf, uh, Tobias Cornwall in general, and he's recently released one which you, you may not know of, um, Syndral Song. And there's a reason you don't know of it, probably, is it didn't sell very well. It's only sold a, a few... I think it only sold a, a bit over a hundred copies. It's not not a very well-known game, and that's uh, it's a game that has weaknesses certainly, but it's also a very interesting game for for quite a few reasons. So I, I'm thinking about making a, a, a at least a video about that, uh, talking about the game a bit. Not sure if I'll also do a, like a like a commentated let's play series uh, on Syndrome Song. Just because I've not played it in a while, and it take all oh, you always takes a while to, uh, you know, get back into the game, get back into understanding what it's all about. So I might do that and take you on that journey with me and uh, tell you a little bit about Central Song while we play it. So that's a, that's another plan I have, at least a consideration. Yeah, I mean, by all means, tell me if you have any. Any ideas, any games that I should play, any things I should check out. Also, you know, like and subscribe and that sort of thing, but... Uh. Ah, okay, so I think this is, is the main room where the magic happens. If you know what I mean. No, you probably don't know what I mean. But I'll show you. Blinding gas. Mm. Do I want to use magic or no? Don't usually don't want to use magic. That's a uh... ah that you see that almost killed him. And this definitely kills him. You have to have to pay attention to defense values. I mean, I what's already pretty complicated in Mardek is you have the elemental resistance values. Which are also quite interesting. So you could also have, in theory, like physical resistance, because there's a physical damage type. But you don't use that. You have defense instead, which is a, a different thing entirely. So what's this? You might ask. This is the miasmal chalice. This is an object called a miasmal chalice. When you defeat monsters in this temple, their dark essence is added to this chalice, filling it. Fill it with 100 essences, and you can take it as your own. This chalice is 26% full. You cannot take it yet. So 26%, so a good quarter. 
That's that's something, right? That's uh, not nothing. And another two monsters for the pile. Here we go, boys. Uh, do your magic barrier. Won't help you now. Won't help you against my my boy Slenok and his big axe. He does have a big axe. Look at that. Just a uh, destruction, destruction right there. Actually, do I still have the sun sword thing? I might. The uh, light elemental sword for for our good friend uh, Mardek. Sun sword, yes, that's good, but not not quite as good as my champion sword, which is what I'm going to use, of course, because, as you know, these monsters are all dark elemental. Which gives me an advantage when I use light magic. Rohoff, hmm, it's pitch black in here. We can't see where we're going at all. I can create a piercing light to show something, but since it's magical darkness, we won't be able to see far. Even the torches don't illuminate anything. Here we go. Okay. We have, ah, we don't even have the map, which, uh, which sucks a bit. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, not having the map, not my favorite part of this game. Uh... Yeah, what did we say? Stab the stock. Yes. Easy as that. Easy as that, boys. And now, uh, right. So that's probably our way back out. You know, you see the, you see the gem down there. You open that, open that, we're back out. But we're gonna have to find a way in first, which is, of course, a completely different challenge. Right. Is, it, is there something, like a secret thing? There may be. I'm not entirely sure. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we do here? Right, we, we use magic against the... Actually, I can do the healing thing. Get out of here. Where to now? Uh, Skip that one on accident. And what do we have here? This is the chest with the talisman of Shumbra. An ancient artifact. It's a holy talisman formed personally by the deity Shumbra, the Dark God, when he made the Dark Temple. Very valuable, certainly. We'll figure out what to do with that, of course, at some point. And our Reptoid Spearhead, too. We still have that. take this. I think, yeah, we just did this. Ah, I'm not very good at this game. Ah, huh. very, very bad Mardek player. I know, I know. I'm very ashamed you. Is this a path? Okay, we've 
mastered something. Aha, uh -huh. is this a thing? Yes, this is very much a thing. The molester. <laughs> Children, you do not belong here. Well, we'll see about that now, won't we? The, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I think we can handle this guy. Let me just uh, do some healing. See, can't even hit my good boy Slenok over there. Pathetic. Very pathetic. Lots of damage. Okay, you know, this this might also be uh, an opportunity for Marduk to use his signature... What is it? I keep forgetting the name. Morality Block, that's the one. Which allows us to block attacks from this molester guy. See? No. Just a very useful little ability. Does this kill? Yes, this kills. Nice. I think we missed a chest there. Can't have that. Have to go to where the... Uh, what? How did I do that? Is this like a... Uh, black hat. Okay, we'll see. Who can use our black hat? Sorts. Have we... Yes, we've also mastered... Perfect. Excellent. Okay, Donovan. The boy. Take the... The thing. Wait. 30% chance of taking no damage. From That's better than fire resistance, surely. Especially since we don't have a lot of fire in here. And Charlotte can. What can Charlotte take? Can she take this, maybe? Damage soap 20? No? Better than. Well, not better. But at least it's something she can learn. The bandit leather? Why not? Why not, indeed? Has he almost mastered it? No, but not mastered evasion at all, that's what I'm saying. These guys are just very... Ah, okay, so you do want to use... Do you want, do you want to use magic on these? Skipped a turn. Cool. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna briefly like that. Yes. Okay. So this is where we just killed the guy. That should be this this part done with. So I think what that switch did is it opened another switch, another I mean another gate in this in this part, which is why I said this is where the magic happens because this is where we have to open the door. It's this door here with the it used to have two gates now only one. So we'll finish up the other gate in just a second. 